I want to share with you the top five keys for getting a million dollar laryngoscopy exam. Using a chip on the tip endoscope, digitally recording so you can look at things in slow motion, getting ultra close to the vocal cords, using topical anesthesia to get close to the vocal cords, and manipulating the voice. Now today, let's talk about what 50 cents worth of anesthesia is going to do for you. I use topical 4% lidocaine. Tastes bitter, but gives you incredible anesthesia. I'm going to give you four ways to get the anesthesia on the vocal cords. The first way, I spray the anesthesia on the back of the throat, and it tastes bitter. Then, I fill up a syringe with four cc's of topical lidocaine, and I'm going to use what is called a nasal cannula that was used for irrigating the sinuses in the past. I'm going to drip it in onto the vocal cords. And my plastic model here goes over the tongue, goes around the corner, behind the epiglottis, and then I drip the anesthetic onto the vocal cords. When this lands on the vocal cords, of course, it's going to make the patient gag the first time. They're going to love you for this. And the first time I put about a cc in, and then the patient's now starting to get anesthetized, so I can put a second one in. And what I'm looking for is what's called a laryngeal gargle. That is that the patient's saying e. As the anesthetic drips on the vocal cord, we start to hear a e as it bubbles around, and it will coat the whole voice box. Second way, there's a device called the mucosal atomization device. It has on its tip an atomizer, and you can bend it so it can go around the tongue and aim down the throat. There's the atomizer. What does that do? That ends up blowing the spray around. Of course, the patient gags anyway, so it's going to get all around, but here is what it looks like. Third way, don't have a fancy $3 mucosal atomization device. Patient's too gaggy to put the cannula in the mouth. Well, we can use a 25 gauge needle and put it between the thyroid and cricoid cartilages. And when we squirt that on the inside, the patient's going to gag. And it hits the back of the throat, and the patient coughs, and it sprays it up all over the vocal cords. With a working channel endoscope, I can attach a 5 cc syringe of lidocaine, pass the endoscope through the nose, and aim at the vocal cords. And then while the patient's saying E, I squirt out a short aliquot of lidocaine onto the vocal cords. And effectively, we get the same gargle. So we have four ways to put about 50 cents worth of anesthetic in and get an incredibly close view of the vocal cords. In fact, let's take a look at how close we can get. If you'd like to learn more about laryngoscopy, check out voicedoctor.net online. I'm Dr. James Thomas.